throw it out for you? Yes. Need me to just get it thought out for you? Leave that on. Leave that on, yes, sir. Aye. Hello. Wagwan. Hello, hello, hello. Let me see if my volume is working, darling. Hi, you guys. All right. It is me, your motherfucking drunk Puerto Rican chef in the building, and it's about that time. You guys know, well, you guys know Isaiah from previous shows, but you guys know what time it is. It is time to get it's fucked up, up, or excuse me for all our new viewers. We're going to get a little bit intoxicated and just have some fun. So you ready? All right. First and foremost, as we always do, let's start off with our shout outs. You know this is a big thing for me. I love doing it. So first, as always, our essential workers, aka our frontline workers. So whether you uh, are a delivery truck driver, whether you USPS, um, uh, UPS, FedEx, what's some other people, DHL, what's some other people, uh, Amazon, any of that, Uber Eats, um, Instacart, any of that, doctors, lawyers, um, dentists, especially lawyers, because right now you guys have been quarantined for too long and you're just now figuring out you may not like the motherfucker that you married, so you're trying to get rid of them. Anyway, no, just playing. So all of the above, um, down to janitorial staff, sanitization crews, um, you guys know, whoever I'm not thinking of, but you know, um, EMT, paramedic, firefighters, so on, so forth. Uh, thank you all for your service. You're doing a job that I definitely don't want to do or probably couldn't do. And therefore, we thank you from here um, at the Drunken PR Chef family. Next, y'all know who it is. I always shout out my brothers and sisters in arms, whether you are Coast Guard, National Guard, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, retiree, a veteran, uh, active duty, a dependent, a reservist, a mother, brother, sister, any uncle, grandpa, grandma, cousin, son, daughter, any of the above. I thank you guys. To my brothers and sisters who have served with me, I thank you for always having my six and I will always forever have yours. To the ones who served alongside of me and other branches, I thank you all for your jobs and, and the dedication and the love and the loyalty you guys have to them. We would not be able to move as we are in this country without you. Most importantly, I thank each and every one of you dependents, no matter which way it is, spouse, cousins, anything, family members, Without you all, we wouldn't be able to be, period. This this job is hard enough. It's scary when you deploy. You don't know if you're coming home. And without your love, your care packages, your letters, your support, your prayers, we wouldn't be able to make it. So thank you. Last but not least, our Black Lives Matters movement, BLMM. Too many names to say. So one for you, Facebook. One for you, too. Let's hold it up um, to those families that are suffering right now, know that this too shall last, uh, shall pass, excuse me. Um, know that God always has your back. He says vengeance is his. Let him yield that sword for you. Keep your head held high. Please know that we are all here with you fighting the same fight. Your melanin is amazing. Your strength is incredible. Your endurance is a testimony. We love you. We are praying for you. Please continue to be you. Please, please keep your head up. Continue to be safe and, and just let God work. Justice shall be served. BLMM, a moment of silence. All right, let's go. All right, so we did that. So today's show, oh, I didn't even get my cup, no ice, no nothing. Ding, ding. I'm having a moment. Oh my gosh, don't touch me. Y'all know I'm stupid. Don't pay me any attention. All right. So let's just rinse these off, make sure we're good to go. Getting our drinks ready for the show. Y'all know I always got to have my wine. Ding, ding, ding. And even though they're clean, I just, I teach you guys the same shit all the time, right? It's repetitive. You guys should kind of know this standard, this drill by now. All right. So, well, like, I, so after seeing this Tom Hanks play um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, whom I absolutely love, I can't help but do it now. So. We're gonna say, it's a beautiful day in our neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. Will you be size? Will you be size? I do not own the rights to that, but I love doing it. Ah! So, all right, we're good to go. So today, my darlings, 
I am doing a full on low country boil for my family. I can't take you guys out there to see it because it's on a burner. I don't know if y'all really know what the burner is. Actually, I can kind of take you guys out there to see it. Hold on, we're gonna do one at a time. Follow me. We'll unplug Facebook and bring them so they can see. All right, YouTube, so here, let me show you. This is a low country boil. And I'm utilizing that right there, a propane tank. Go ahead and show Facebook for me, darling, please, and then bring them on back. All right, no, no, no. Well, you can help me with the low country boil, but not with the rest. All right, so there we are, dog. Y'all are able to see. Oops, I dropped the charger. Thank, thank you, my, thank you, my beautiful, my baby. All right. So now you guys have seen how I do my low country boils. So in the low country, oh, she took the donuts and ran out them, and she said, "So the low country boil is not actually what we're doing for the show today, but I will show you as we go throughout the process. What we're actually going to be filming today is we're going to make a lobster roll." I haven't done this for you guys. And it's really, really fun. So we're gonna do a lobster roll um, with homemade chips, AKA potato french fries. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we're, oh, I, how could I forget our drink, drum roll. Ready? We are going to make a very light or crisp summertime berry vodka cocktail. Okay, couple things we're gonna put in. How could I forget? I left one thing. Hold on. Okay. So now for our berry vodka cocktail. Oh, we are also going to be making a blueberry crisp on the show today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Berry cocktail. You will need fresh raspberries. Fresh blackberries and fresh blueberries. Duh. Okay, you're gonna also need fresh basil, fresh mint. Okay, you'll need vodka. You will need. Uh 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 uh. uh. Take that in the room. Take that in the room. Take that in the room. Take it out. I can't hear. Um, you will also need lemon juice, club soda. Okay. And just for color purposes, a hint of cranberry. Okay. You know how this is bad food And if you have one, a mortar and pencil. It's gonna help you, because we are going to muddle some fruit. Now, um, where's my Stop. Stop. Stop, I don't wanna hear fighting. All right, so let's go ahead and work on our drink. I, of course, will be having, hey, I, of course, will be having Pinot Grigio on the side, because y'all know I love my Pinot. Now, get you a nice tall glass, put about yay of ice, about yay, not full, but some are full, okay? So let me move their ice cream out the way. Hold on, I'm just getting some ice, you guys. Uh, that should do me about fine. All right, so I got my ice in the glass. Now, I'm about to open up my wine. That's where I stopped. That's four. I got to open this wine. Y'all know I got to have a glass while we do this. Okay. Hold that thought. My fat wine on self has to have. Okay, there we go. Got it. Oh, oh much better about life, darling. Much better. And we have our corker as always. So I can just re cork it without having to use that one. So we'll move that to the side. We'll do that in just a second. Now, what you want to do is go ahead 
Oh, wait. Because my burner is turning. Lily or Hannah, I need y'all to do me a favor. You say you're going to help me cook. Come help me cook. So what you see right here is I make my little country. You won't, you won't feel it. It's got, it got some spice to it. It's definitely Creole. It's definitely um, Southern and Cajun, but it's going to hit that ass, hit that ass. Thank God Almighty, it's going to hit that ass. So what we already have boiling in there uh, is garlic, onion, lemon, and lime. Uh, whole clove of garlic looks like this. Drop right down in your pot. Um, three large um, ladles of butter. Um, a whole lemon cut in half. We already put the one in there. I just wanted to show them. Um, and a whole lime cut in half and an onion cut in half and just drop down in there. We also have liquid um, Zatarain shrimp oil and crab oil. We put some slap your mama. I like to put um, dried parsley, basil, and rosemary in mine just for that extra herb filling and taste. And then we also have um, our Zatarain's Pro Boil that's down in there. Now, and garlic. I already minced garlic too. I think I said it. So lemon juice and lime juice. To give it that extra bit of, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My knees here slash my assistant is going to add an Anaheim pepper. I am not deceiving it. I am leaving it as such. Just like that. I just cut the tips off and two serrano peppers. I need to drop them in the little knob. Make sure you twist it. Make sure it's all the way locked because it's a timer. So just twist it. Well, to make the, um, it. You'll yeah, see it, Anna. Yeah. You'll see it. Just twist it to the right. All right. All right. So now, good. We're going there. Let's go ahead and start on our drink. So let me get our... What am Where did I put it? Hold that thought. There it is. Hello, hello. There's my cousin, as always, Shy. You guys know him by now. All right. So make sure that's rinsed off because we are going to. We are going to. Yep, it's supposed to go in the pot. Was I supposed to turn it all the way or just like halfway? Just make sure when you turn it, you turn it to. Can't turn them. Okay. So we need. You need a small handful blueberries. of blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries have been tried. Then, <laughs> now we are also making a uh, a blueberry crumble that my family loves. So, um, the Charlie Brown pumpkin patch. Oh, that's too way. I don't like the way they look. Okay. We're also going to put, yes, baby, a handful. Hey, Marvin. Handful of those in there. Okay, baby. And we are going to put a nice handful of our, hold on, baby. You're going to back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't need anything else for the pot right now. Right. As soon as I do, though, I'm going to have you put this. Pouring shit in in a minute. What's that? All right. And our raspberries. Now, you want enough for garnish, enough for your muddle, and enough for decoration. So. Like that. And put that right in there. All right. All right. Now, we are making, right now, we are making a vodka berry cocktail, a summertime cocktail. And then we're making lobster rolls. We're also doing a low country boil outside. And we, oh, that smells so good. And we are doing, um, and we are doing, uh, a blueberry crumble with um, chips, basically French potato fries. All right. So we got our basil. Smells phenomenal. I love, love, love basil. And, oh, don't tell me I had 
So we, I am using the Aqua Dome uh, herbs. I love it. It comes with the water already in it. See Aqua Dome. It's amazing. All right. All right, cool. I'm good with that. Now, I'm going to rinse these as well. Okay. I am going to put I'm keeping some leaf for garnish and some is going to be muddled. Muddling, we're going to put that down in here with this. Add a little bit of lemon juice. Just a smidge. That'll help you muddle and get all of um, that ingredient out of there. What up, Madi? Hey, you guys. So we're making a berry vodka cocktail, a summer vodka cocktail right now. Also add a smidge of your cranberry juice cocktail. Okay? And you are going to go ahead. Mm. You're going to go ahead. That end in the hole that y'all shut up. I know that didn't sound right, but you really want to kind of crush, really, really put your muscle into it because you're really trying to get those flavors to come together as much as possible. You, I love it. Y'all want to see what it looks like? It looks a little weird in here, but it tastes amazing. Okay. So we're muddled. Now, the reason I had not um, poured any wine is because I need to move my ice over just for a brief second. Because this part goes right in the bottom of your glass, okay? We'll move that over here. Now, go ahead and put your ice. Ooh. back over in there. My ice melted, so I'm gonna get just a little bit more. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna do that. All right. Perfect, okay. Now, we are gonna take our remainder, and we're gonna add two. That just to the top, just like that. Okay. Now. I, you want less than, you don't even want a full ounce of cranberry. I, you want less than, you don't even want a full ounce of cranberry. Just like that. Now for your vodka. About two ounces of vodka. Okay, lemon juice, okay, club soda, okay, what up, what up, what up? Okay. Damn, like I couldn't get the top on it to save my life. Like, what the fuck? And just a smidge more. Like that. And just for added effect, I am going to add a splash of grenadine. Pretty, pretty. Now, I 
grab some toothpicks in case you guys didn't notice, right? What up, what up? I am making a berry vodka cocktail. We are making a low country boil utilizing crawfish, snow crab, mussels, five pounds of shrimp, and Dungeness. Now, so you guys saw me grab my toothpicks, right? And I'm gonna show you why. Because we are going to make our garnish. Put it through one, put it through two, three, add the next toothpick in. Because you want it to lay across the top of the cup. Put it through one. Let me shorten this one. Hold on, y'all. Voila. And that is how we garnish it with a mint leaf and a basil leaf. That is our drink. Our, our berry vodka cocktail. Pretty, right? What you think? Can I take a sip? All right. Oh, good. I get a little of each flavor. Now that shit is good. So, we'll move that to the side. That's very good. I'm going to pour my wine so I can stay a little bit. Uh, ask you guys to keep people in your prayer. Who is, um, whose mother had about in the hospital. And we want to pray for her and her family. And all of them and their family. And um, safe, you know, safety and good health and, and so much more. Okay? What'd you say? Let me tuck these. Oh, okay. Well, text her for me. Uh, I gotta wash my hands because I just touched that and I don't want to put it on the food. Uh, why are you? Well, I know why you're feeling down, baby. But uh, all we can do is pray right now. Like that's all you can do. Do it. Do it. Okay. Somebody has to keep track of my tap because I keep losing. So as you can see, and I really don't need this whole pack at all. So what I'm going to do is cover my skillet. And then what I have left, we'll just wrap up in a Ziploc. Uh, if I can get one out. Uh, lobster. And those parts aren't even hard, trust me. Uh, we can only pray, baby. I know it's hard. I know it seems hard. But this too shall pass. I have to take another chunk of this damn meat. I'm going to eat it all. Ain't going to be nothing left for the lobster roll. Okay. I'm done. Y'all right. Leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. What up, Sam? So. What you are going to need, celery, chive, yes, yes. green onion, okay? mayonnaise, cayenne pepper, slap your mama, a little of your boil, garlic salt, all right? So this is for garnish along with the chives. So we will chop that last. You need about two stalks of your celery. Ah, uh, thank you, babe. All right, Tanya Bad Chan is back on shots. Hey, Y'all know the drill. When she screams shots, it is time to shoot her. Babe, if that dryer doesn't work right now, as soon as I'm done filming, I'll do it. Okay. 
I ain't worried about it. I am doing two, two. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse them off because we're gonna cook these when we cook our um, lobster. So let me move that to the side. Now, real quick before I start, what are you looking for, babe? Go ahead. A uh, cup of water. Cup of water. There you go. Uh, if there's no cold water in there, get you some ice. So, what we need to do right now, though, Hannah or Lily, this is it time to bolt things. It's time to put some stuff in the boil. Yeah, and I need you to turn it again. So, for our boil, because and I'm still coming back to our lobster roll, but we gotta since I got the boil going, and now it's good and bubbling or boiling. We are going to get our potatoes on in there because they're gonna take a bit longer to cook. Okay. Cut them in half. You're gonna you need to wash your hands, but then cut them in half. All right. Uh now that should be enough. That should be enough. All right, corn, fresh corn on the cob. Normally you guys have seen me um leave my corn in the husk, like when I'm doing fried corn or things like that, or even a corn pico de gallo. I'm not doing that right now. I don't want the silk in the husk, I don't need the smoky flavor in this boil so oh trick to getting the silk off it yes it looks like what you're thinking right now i know what the hell y'all are thinking <laughs> but it gets that silk out of there okay safety these big ones cut in half these big ones cut in half and then another half these little ones just in half all right so and we're also going to rinse these off I do not. Um, I I choose uh, Tony Zachary's over Slap Your Mama. Um, that's the question they just asked. My preferred um, seasoning. It would be Tony Zachary's, um, Zatarans, and then Slap Your Mama. Um, if I'm doing uh, Slap Your Mama, I'm usually using it in combination with um, with uh, with Zatarans. Okay, because when that happens, you'll get the perfect level of um, salt with spice, and that's what you want. What up, Tracy? You guys, it's the baddest OBG, one in Houston, Texas, in the building. Tracy, you know you gotta put your info up so I can pin it. If you guys need her services, she is utterly amazing. She's a good friend of mine, beautiful black woman, educated, uh, entrepreneur she's just amazing all the way around all the way around um and i am blessed to know her as friend shot time let's go everybody grab your cups tracy please post up your business info where these beautiful people beautiful queens can find you in case of pregnancy <laughs> yeah i said it i said it god damn it i said it in case of pregnancy and in case uh <laughs> Any other gynecological need? Uh, so, hold on. Let me get this one silked and then, ooh, I just squirted it in my face. That did not sound right. And I'm doing this. But I'm trying to, don't judge me. Don't judge. That's how she look when you do it, huh? She'd be like, uh-uh. Nope, hell no. Hell no, hell no. <laughs> I'm stupid. All right. Hello? Oh, well, that one. Okay. Okay. Shot time, shot time, shot time, shot time. I'm a pause doing the corn. You're good. Just do that one like that. Put that one down some more. Do that one. And then here, I'll put these in here for you. And you can just walk all this out and throw it into the boil. Make sure you twist that knob again, okay? Go back to where Uh-huh, make sure it's all the way back locked. I'm getting my shot right now. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. More so, ladies, Ms. Tracy. Ms. Ray or Dr. Ray is at McNeil Center for Women Healthcare, um, 3003 South Loop 
West. I can't see the rest. I'm a pennant. Y'all will be able to see it. Oh, there we go. West, South Loop West. And then there's the phone number. Please contact her for whatever you guys need. She, when I say she's amazing, I'm not just bragging because she's my friend. I'm bragging because she's literally that damn dope. Okay? Like that damn dope. And everything. And, and her bedside manner is impeccable. Uh, she truly is one of those doctors that believes in um, HIPAA and um, doctor patient confidentiality. What up, Edwina? Doctors that believes in um, HIPAA and um, doctor patient confidentiality. What up, Edwina? Uh, okay, we, we're going to have a shot for her. She is just impeccable. Uh, there, I mean, there's literally no other way for me to say that. She is amazing, and I absolutely appreciate her uh, I, for everything she does for me. Now, our bacon is cooking. Good. Uh, as soon as our bacon's done, we're going to go ahead and get our lobster in there. And we're going to get, oh, my God, it's going to be. Mm. Mm. All right. So y'all know I gotta have my wine on the side. Two, as always, my beautiful black kings and queens, your melanin is that of amazement, of royalty. And that's why most people fear you. Keep prevailing, keep continuing to be who you are. Keep enduring, keep working hard, keep achieving, keep showing them that no matter what they do, no matter what they say or think, it will not stop you from being the king and queen that God intended you to be because you were first on this earth. I was looking at a post where uh, Dr. Farrakhan was on, um, I think it was Sally Jesse Raphael, and he said, you white people keep telling us to go back to where we come from. So if we imply the same logic, to you, where will you be able to go back to? Or did you forget you came from us? All right, to, so to you all, to you all, salud, salud, salud. Oh my God, that gets better with every taste. Hey. Oh. Okay, I'm still it. Y'all will not believe this shit. Look at it. I just bought this corn from the grocery store. Look, a whole motherfucking caterpillar. Um, kids, can y'all come put the caterpillar outside, please? I don't want to kill the little buddy. Somebody, one of you children, get off your ass. Thank you. I got a whole caterpillar crawling on my damn corn from the grocery store. Kindly go drop him off outside and bring me back the corn. Look, she holds it. Grab the door. Now, so I usually use King's Hawaii. I know that shit's funny, right? Tell me that was not fucking hilarious. Who can it? Like, you, I literally just bought that from the grocery store. You would think I peeled it out of my garden. Crazy as hell. So, you're going to heat your oven 325 degrees. Let it preheat it. Once the timer goes, once that beep beep. Goes off and lets you know it's X. Thank you, my love. Look, she's like, oh, hell no, auntie. Um, once that actually goes off and lets you know that it is heated, you're going to put, if you can find an actual brioche bun, do that. Um, she said, oh, wait, who said? Tim, you said if it was up to you, he'd be in the disposal. You know, that's God's creatures. I'm a, Except for flies. I can't fuck with flies. I can't, can't fucking stand them. Um, I like using King's Hawaiian. Aloha, Brett. They have a bigger bun, but I couldn't find them at the store today. So we went for the uh, Aloha version of our local grocery store, which is H-E-B. So this is the bun that you're going to be using to create your lobster rolls. Again, heat your, preheat your oven at 325 like I'm about to do right now. Oh, shit, I got to take all my cast iron out of it. Um, and once the timer goes off, on, y'all, let me get this cast iron out of here. I forget I bake it. Oh. 
So I baked my cast iron, okay? And in baking my cast iron, whenever I'm done, I cut off the oven and I leave it in the oven. So every time I go to utilize the oven, I have to remember that I, when I'm preheating it, take the shit out. Cause anyway, anyway, um, so you're gonna put that 325. These are gonna go in that oven. Really? These are gonna go in your oven for roughly on at 325. You're going to coat them with butter or spray them with the EVOO spray. Open them up, lay them flat so it gets that grill mark on there. Roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. That is going to be your bread. It is, trust me, the flavor profile is amazing. Now, so we've gotten our boiled stuff going. So we can get back to our lobster roll. Our bacon is going, so we're going to go ahead and flip that over. Make sure that's good. I want it cooked, but I do not want it burnt, okay? Now, we are taking off the leaves. We're cutting the ass off, man. Cover up your peepees. I'm not trying to hurt you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm just playing. Toss that in the trash. You want to make it bite-sized um, portions. Because, again, you're going to be cooking this with your lobster to get some of that seafood flavor on there. You do not want uh, it to be too thick because it's not going to cook very long. The lobster does not take very long to cook. Okay? So there we go. I believe our bacon is now done. So once I'm done with the celery, I'm going to go pull the bacon, sit it right over here on the counter. And let it just chill. Perfect. So our bacon is done. Now, I'm going to just sit it right here on the counter. I want it cooked, not burnt. I want it limp. Oh, I do not own the rights to any music you hear in the background. Facebook, YouTube, I have children. All right, so now it's time to do our lobster. Now I'm gonna keep the juice in this bag. I'm not gonna throw the bag right away because I, I like that flavor in my boil. You want your boil to taste like seafood. Who the fuck doesn't? Like, if you don't, you're fucking stupid. Yep, I said it. I don't give a fuck. Anybody got a problem with it? 